how are you welcome to day 41 is it 41 i've just started i've just switched on i never edit it so i just wanted to make sure it was but you're probably shouting at the screen now going yeah yeah it was it was it was so i'm just gonna double check yeah it's day 41 wow um welcome to day 41 of the mindfulness challenge today i want to talk about um some realities that we're all probably facing and that is the recognition of um people uh, who frustrate you who um grind your gears who have wound you up over the last 41 days probably me um but i want you to think about how um how beautiful it is when we can all get along and i'm surprised actually how how well um, this household has done don't get me wrong we've had our ups and downs i've got a 23 year old daughter with her 24 year old fiance living here i have my wife um, i have my dog reg uh, and i have all my spirits and everybody else with me but um in the main we've been okay and we've got along all right don't get me wrong we've had our ups and downs we've had our disagreements should we say but in the main it's been good but we are social creatures and it's amazing if we can all get along and i think one of the things when we come out of this we'll start again to um to absolutely appreciate uh, friendship and touch and hugs and all of these things because you know I have two grandchildren that I see fleetingly every now and then and the fact that I can't give them a kiss is, is horrible in fact one of my granddaughters her name is Rose when she sees me before all of this she sort of clings to my face like this and I'm she's sort of like this for about five minutes she pushes so hard against my face and it's like Rose any chance I can have my face back uh, anytime soon so but we know there's times when people can cause us you know to get angry or push our buttons and you know we try and sometimes then build a barrier and and we close ourselves off slightly to protect ourselves from from any further conflict or we may have we let things hang or or anything like that but instead of closing our heart we can open our heart and it's how we respond to those people who at the moment might be grinding our gears or frustrating us and there's a practice of loving kindness um, and recognition of 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 them and and not being bought into that frustration i said to myself the other day when i walked into the kitchen and, and um my wife and my daughter were both in the kitchen and um i just felt that there was a lot of hormonal love for me um and uh, and i just thought to myself less is more take um take the emotion and the insinuation and just agree and just close the door and walk back out and and i did but that's not how we need to do with it and how to recognize and work with frustrations of those people who are around you at the moment so we're going to do a loving kindness meditation now so as always i'm going to bring up a picture and i want you to get comfortable okay so this is a practice in loving kindness a recognition um, of of the harm that can be caused if we if we allow things to fester or if we don't really truly um, recognize and care for those who who may have just got on the wrong side of us our eyes are closed now and let's settle into a comfortable meditation posture bringing loving kindness to the mind and body but without straining all right i want you to allow yourself to gently set into the present time the awareness just sit there and just feel the present time and awareness and just feel your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Now I want you to bring to mind somebody at the moment who you may be having a difficult emotion with. Now that can be a minute emotion, it may be in a bus stop you had yesterday, it can be anything. But just bring to mind somebody whom you find a little bit difficult to work with at the moment, to live with at the moment. If it's the first time, you know, you don't have to bring together a massive problem. You can bring something, somebody bring somebody to mind who's just mindly challenging. But if it may be someone who pushes your buttons, someone frustrates you for some reason, someone that grinds your gears, and reflect on that fact that that is a person who is subject to the emotional experiences of joy, love, sorrow, and grief, just like you. Now, I want to start by picturing the person with a smile across their face. See that person 
who was grinding your gears and put a smile across their face. And begin offering a few phrases of appreciative joy, remembering that the intention with the practice is to open your own heart to care for those people's happiness, the person's happiness. So I want you to use these three phrases. I'm going to replicate them. I want you to bring to mind the person who you know is frustrating you at the moment with a smile on their face and say, may you be happy. May your happiness continue. May I be happy for you. Picture that person who frustrates you with a smile on their face and say to yourself, may you be happy. May your happiness continue. May, be, may I be happy for you. May you be happy. May your happiness continue. May I ha be happy for you. And just keep repeating that. Even if you just say, may you be happy. May I be happy for you. May you be happy. May I be happy for you. Now I want you to imagine this person who's in front of you who's just got a smile, but I want you to imagine this person now experiencing pain or sorrow. Notice any response in your mind or body as you do so. But begin offering a few phrases of compassion for this person's difficulties. Offer them as much as you're able to at this moment. So may you be free from suffering. I see your pain. I care about your pain. May you be free from suffering. I see your pain. I care about your pain. Somebody who's difficult, who's having with you and frustrating you and imagine that they're having a difficult time through pain or sorrow and offer them. May you be free from suffering. I see your pain. I care about your pain. And again, just keep repeating those mantras. May you be free from suffering. I see your pain. I care about your pain. May you be free from suffering. I see your pain. I care about your pain. May you be free from suffering. I see your pain. I care about your pain. And finally bring to mind what it is you find difficult about the person. Now tune into the response of the mind and body as you bring that difficulty up. Respond with a few phrases of compassion for yourself, setting the intention to care for this unpleasant experience. And you say to yourself, may I be free from suffering? May I see my pain clearly? May I respond with compassion? May I be free from suffering? May I see my pain clearly? May I respond with compassion? May I be free from suffering? May I see my pain clearly? And may I respond with compassion? Deep breath in. And one more time. May I be free from suffering? May I see my pain clearly? May I respond with compassion? And feel the love and empathy within yourself. And feel the love and empathy for the person who at the moment has frustrated you, who's grinded your gears, who's made you feel angry or deep inside. But now you know that you are free from suffering. You can see your pain clearly. And you can respond with compassion. But also that the person you're thinking of, you wish them to be happy. You wish their continue happiness to continue and you hope and may you share that happiness with them and that you care about them in your own way. Take a deep breath in, hold it for two seconds and breathe out. So it's, it's, it can be difficult for us to open your eyes. It can be difficult for us to um, you know, hold somebody with that level of compassion and empathy if they've really just be honest pissed you off um but it is important that we all get along together because 
you know, we're in lockdown. I still don't know how long this is going to be for. And at the moment, I'm just living with it. It is what it is. You know, there are people in far worse situations. In fact, you know, I feel guilty sometimes sat on my back, you know, having some food and a drink and, and you know, thinking, you know, I'm sat here living amazingly blessed. And there are people who are in the midst of their world falling down around them. But I suppose when I said this to a friend of mine, he said, well, you're doing your job because you're not allowed out. And if you don't go out, then this will stop. But we still have to live with everybody. We still have to be with everybody. We still have to get on with everybody as best we can. So I thought at day 41, some of our um, patients may be wearing thin, maybe a bit threadbare. So today is about recognizing some of those people who frustrate you, but holding them with loving kindness. And as always, holding yourself with the same compassion, empathy, love as you can. God bless you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Mariska. I love you. Good morning, Eleanor. I love you. Good morning, Beverly. I love you. Good morning, Eleanor. I love you. Good morning, everybody. I love you. If I've missed you, I apologise. I'm just running through names that are in my head. Thank you very much for being with me today. And... Uh, be love and give love and I'll try and mention some more of your names tomorrow. Thanks very much for being here and uh, I really do appreciate it. It's been a long journey and we're getting there but you know fingers crossed we're, we're going through the peak of this curve and we can come up the other end in a very special way with a very special place. Take care. Bye-bye.